again, I'm not trying to What do you mean why it was built? Yeah, why did they build? Why would the temple? What I know there? was built for a reason to worship God or... Anything more? Not really. Okay, because yeah. in the Torah, we have the history, because I'm very interested in history. Okay. Because I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Catholic, okay. and uh, my Protestant brothers and sisters may be the history of the church isn't that important because they see, they ascribe the same qualities to the New Testament as you do the Quran, as in it's 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 the verbatim word of God. Okay. But I, I don't I don't follow that. I, I try and follow the historical thing. So so the Torah it goes from uh, uh, Genesis through to Deuteronomy. There are five books, yes. And in those five books, you have things that God said, things that God did, and a history of the Jewish people all rolled into one. Yes. It's a story. You yeah. can follow the story. It was a so, Yeah. So what you have, and these, these are verses from the Old Testament. You uh, tell me to stop whenever you want. When the Jews left the captivity of Egypt, they went into the desert, and this is the word from Exodus, and the Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them the way. So so God's presence, spiritual presence, was in the pillar of cloud. It won't um, take too, too many seconds. No problem. Yeah. No. Okay. And then it builds. And then God appeared in the clouds on Mount Sinai and gave the law to Moses. And it says here, the glory of God rested on Mount Sinai and the cloud covered it and he called to Moses from the cloud. So you can see that God, because his, anyone who sees God dies. So God is concealed in a cloud, in the pillar of fire, in the pillar of what, and then in the cloud there. And then God said in Exodus, let them make me a sanctuary. Now, do you, do you know what this is? Yeah. Right, this is the... We were we about the Moses one. Right? This is the Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, yeah, Ark of the Covenant. Okay. That's great. And God in Exodus says, let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. God has been with Israel. He's told them, commanded them to build this box. And this box was in the tabernacle in the tent. The Jewish nation used to camp on the way to the promised land. Yeah. Okay. And then the cloud covered the tent of meeting and the glory of God filled the tabernacle. So what you have, the presence of God, here, here, he commanded this, and then he filled the box. And here he said, God says, I will abide among the Israelites. I will be their God. So what you've got, you've got the abiding presence of God in the history of the Jews. There's only two more pages, just bear with me. And then this, in the Promised Land, became the Temple of Solomon. Yeah. And in the Temple of Solomon, this was placed here. Okay. And this is the... Um, I will establish my abode in your midst. I will establish my home in your midst. I will not support spurn you. I will be ever present in your midst. So you've got God telling the people that he will be with them. And I've got lots of other verses here. But you, know, you don't believe God will be with them, actually. like Because in the Quran, for example, Allah mentioned the Quran about Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu and his companion Abu Bakr Siddiq. When he said to him, don't, don't be afraid, Allah is with us. Yes. But with us here doesn't mean Allah is mean Allah is with them by aiding them. Sure. By protecting them. You yeah. know? Because yeah, as we know in the Bible, uh, uh, Jacob said, Oh God, my temple cannot contain you. Let, let the heavens and the earth to do sure. so, you know? Yeah. So why would this what to do? Because you yeah. choose to not talk about Jesus. Uh, uh, you said the Jesus. And we'll get to Jesus. Yeah. Jesus so is really us, important. What you have to understand, yeah. as a Muslim, look, the, we cannot really just take what is in the Old Testament or the Torah for its value. Just take it like that. No, we have to question it. Well, I'm going to question it. Yeah, please do. The five books of Moses are supposed to be given to who? To Moses. Yeah. God gave the five books to Moses. Yeah. Apart from the ending when he died. Okay. Which I think was written by Joshua. No, no one knows, to be honest. Sure, yeah. No one knows. Not just that one, even there's many. As uh, one of the, the Jewish rabbis from Spain mentioned, he said there's a few passages in the, the, the five books sure. which cannot be explained. Okay? So what we say to you also, the earliest manuscript we have yeah. for the Old Testament is sure. 1,000 years, especially the five books, 1,000 years after Moses. Yeah. Also, Moses never spoke Greek. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So I want to know what Moses really said, not what has been translated okay. about Moses. Sure. You understand? Sure. Like, you know, people can say, for example, for example, Allah sent the Quran 
So Prophet Muhammad saw said, "Let mention Allah is with us. Allah mentioned the Quran. Sure. That Allah is with us. Or Allah is with you as well. There is many verses. Yeah. That yeah. in Allah, Allah is with the pious ones. But that ones, doesn't yeah. mean he's actually manifest. Yes. Spirit. So now, someone who doesn't understand that, yeah. the Arabic language in its pure form, sure. and did not understand the meaning of the Quran and how the Prophet Muhammad himself understood it, yeah. can easily mistranslate it by yeah. saying." Allah is with them sure and you think you know either is physically as I explained yeah. I'm using it for the sake of explaining I don't believe Allah has a body as people like and guess yeah, us we, agree we believe Allah has essence yeah. and attributes without any doubt and names yeah. so now we can go back to the Arabic text and say no 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 that doesn't mean that okay. but now you have to tell me what really Moses said yeah I don't want to tell me what people translated about Moses okay okay my response to that would be okay that we uh, physically accept that was something called the Temple of Solomon. Okay. We also accept there was something called the Ark of the Covenant. Yes, that's correct. Now, with, with the Torah, because there are the story and the history of the Jews coupled with the presence of God, they can't be picked out as isolated verses because they're continuous throughout. Well, yes, yeah, perhaps. I don't know. Why would it be racist? Well, you said the presence of God and you said with the Jews. So what are the Jews not entitled to have a God? Everyone's God is the same. I think they're agreeing. I agree with you probably. You just said it to the opposite, so. Oh, no, maybe, maybe I'm not quite sure. No, it's misunderstanding. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so let's say, without any historical evidence to back what I'm saying, I can see where you're coming from, because I could say tonight, I'll, I'll be with you in prayer. That doesn't mean I'm actually yeah. with you and all of those things. But what we have here in these verses that have always been accepted by the Jews as, as accurate and, uh, and, and as the inspired word of God is, not only does God speak in geographical areas from geographical places to particular people yeah. he also commands things that were actually we agree were built so we've got tied in with all of this the purpose for the temple was for the worship of the presence of God on the day of atonement where but you know our respect you know God. See, I, I, shall I put these away yeah, for you the, would like to yeah. <laughs> no, the question on. the question I'm asking <laughs> yeah how can you be so sure what really Moses said let me ask you, what language Moses spoke? Moses probably spoke Hebrew. Hebrew didn't exist Moses' time. Okay, what did Hebrew came yeah. after, it was invented after Hebrew. Sure. Sure. Hebrew means, Hebrew means Abir. Ah, right. You know, Ibrani. Okay. Hebrew means traveler. That's what it means. It was not a language. It was a Sanskrit, yeah. So, it was a, it, 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 that's true, it was sure. like a, a cow and all of these symbols, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now, what we need to understand, Moses, he was where? In Egypt. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And the Israelites, they were enslaved by Pharaoh, the yeah. tyrant, yeah. for many centuries. And we get that from the Torah. Yeah, uh, from the Quran as well. Yeah. Allah yeah. the Quran. So what I'm saying is a logical argument. That I'm saying, you keep telling me Moses said this and God said yeah. that, but you are using a language which Moses never spoke about. Of. So I want you to tell me, yeah. how do you know Moses said that? How do I know Moses? Yeah. How do I know Moses said, said that? that? Because you are using translation. Right. The, 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 the earliest manuscript for the Old Testament, yeah. especially the five books, okay. is 1,000 years after Moses. Sure. Basically, someone came here, come 1,000 years after Moses, yeah. and he said, Moses said this, Moses did this, and God said this, and God said that. Yeah. But the question we ask ourselves, hold a minute, it's 1,000 year gap. Sure. No one year gap, two years, there's 1,000 year gap. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you are, you are trusted in language which Moses never spoke about. So how can we be so sure how can we trace back what really Moses said? Okay. And how can we know those who translate Moses' speech were trustworthy, honest and truthful? Okay, good, good point. My response to that would be that the Torah that I hold to be the book of the Jews, yeah. there's no record of it ever being a, a debatable uh, proposition. The Jews, in all of their writings in the Talmud and throughout every uh, bit of evidence you can get, never ever claimed it to be anything other than the word of God. Now, if it isn't, then the onus is on the person who makes that claim to bring me the one that was in existence or give me a reason why it's no longer in existence. No, that, that's but cool. most importantly, Shams, I'll, I'll just finish off because I, I, I want you to speak a lot more than me. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> no, but, but, but the thing for me is we have the historical 
evidence that the Temple of Solomon was actually in existence. And the Kibla of the Jews was always towards Jerusalem. That's yeah? true, that's true. Yeah, that's yeah, right. yeah. So, so, in this it says, the Talmud states that the Jew praying in the Diaspora shall direct himself towards the land of Israel, yeah. and Israel towards Jerusalem, and towards Jerusalem towards the Temple, and the Temple towards the Holy of Holies. Now the Holy of Holies is where the Ark of the Covenant is. So the whole Jewish alignment of their prayer, which would be similar to the Muslim prayer, was towards the Temple, in the Temple towards the Holy of Holies. The reason it was to work towards the Holy of Holies, because in the Holy of Holies, the term the Hebrew Bible refers to the inner sanctuary of the tabernacle where God dwelt. Now this is archaeological, historical evidence that ties in with those verses that I gave you. On their own, but I so, agree so, with you. Again, Solomon, the story yeah. of Solomon, without any doubt, is not mentioned in the five books of Moses. The story of Solomon, yeah, the, the it, building of Solomon's temple. And yeah, it's not, it's not. It's mentioned after, in the Old Testament, yes. But the okay. five books of Moses was given to Moses, which Solomon wasn't even around. He wasn't even born yet. Solomon right, is... Not, is not, Solomon, yeah. Basically, the, the story that I'm, to, I'm focusing on the five books of Moses. Sure. The five books of Moses, you keep yeah. saying Moses said this said that. Yeah. Even the Old Testament, you are conflicting between two. Sure. I'm not saying everything in the I Old Testament... I like you a lot, Shane. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 I'm not saying everything in the Old Testament is, is not true. Okay. Likewise, I'm not saying everything in the Old Testament, it is true. No. I'm saying, yes, some truth there. For example, right. the temple of Solomon, without mm. any doubt. Okay. But I'm saying, you cannot really stand here, out of respect, saying yeah, no, please do. that please I'm so sure Moses said this and that, yeah. Moses did this and that. Because why? As I've mentioned, yeah. the, the five books that we have, uh, so, uh, supposedly to be uh, uh, revealed to Moses, yeah. came 1,000 years after Moses, in a language which Moses never spoke of. Are you talking about the copies that we can we can verify? Yeah, the, like the the, old, the, the, the earliest okay. manuscript is the Dead Sea Scroll. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that is one thousand. From what I understand, Jewish tradition says that uh, Moses received the the tablets of stone, but also the oral Torah. That's true. That's and over true. a period of forty years, yeah. he relayed it, and then it was copied down. Yeah. And the copy that I have and these verses come from. Even though you accurately say we haven't, the earliest would be the Septuagint, presumably is the, the earliest copy, 300 BC. So as you say, it's about a thousand years or well, a long years, time after Moses, yeah. Okay. After, after years, yeah. They are still the earliest evidences we have to analyse what was given to Moses. Now you're right; it could have happened, but unless you can show me that it did happen, that's a, a proposition with no evidence. No, no. Listen to this. Yeah. Listen to this. Imagine I tell you. Uh, for example, who? Prophet Muhammad. Imagine I said to you, Prophet Muhammad said this. Prophet Muhammad said that. Any Muslim here will ask me, Shamsi, are you saying Prophet Muhammad said that because you read it in a book which is from the companion of Prophet Muhammad? Or you saying Prophet Mu you heard Prophet Muhammad saying it? Because the gap, be gap, uh, the gap between you and the Prophet Muhammad is yeah. nearly 1,000, more than 1,000 years. Okay. So how do you get that from Prophet Muhammad? Right. Who do you get that information from? Yeah, so I'm saying, see, see. the scribes who mm. wrote down the yeah. earliest manuscript, which the Bible based upon, yeah. is came 1,000 years after Moses. The actual guy came 1,000 years after Moses. Okay. So he's writing something about Moses yeah. in a language which Moses never spoke of. Okay. And in a big gap. How do we know Moses never spoke of that language? Because if no one was there and it was a thousand because years before it was recorded. That's a good question because the, the earliest manuscript is in a Greek language. And Moses who lived in Egypt 1,000 years before. How do we know he didn't speak? How, but there's no Greek. How do we know? There was, because the earliest, uh, the early, how, but how do we know? Because we can trace how the Egyptians spoke, what language yeah. spoke. You can go to Egypt and check the language. Printed. Yeah, they had the old language. They never had Greek. The, the Greek that, went to Egypt, it just uh, no longer go before Jesus when it came to existence. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, no uh, way before Moses you know, died. Or Moses died. In the history so, of the Greeks' uh, influence in Egypt is huge because yeah, it, it happened. Yeah, but Ptolemy, after the after yeah. we're after Moses, three hundred years before the Septuagint, the Greeks ruled Egypt. They ruled the Middle East, and their culture and their language became the lingua franca. And by lingua franca, it became the written language of the entire. 
intelligence. And because it's an ancient language, not a common language which changes, that's the reason it was written like some things are written in Latin because they don't get changed. Yeah. But I'm, I'm trying to ask your saying. But I'm yeah. saying that yeah, it's I'm, still I'm after Moses' time. Yeah. It was not in Moses' time. Okay. Like Moses, as some people. No, no, we know, we know, we know. Moses had his own language. I'm telling you. Moses had own language, yeah. which they differ. Is it even because we are remember? And now, yeah. who was the ruler over, over Moses? Pharaoh. Pharaoh. But yeah. we can we know that if you go to Egypt, there is not any proof. Because the Egyptians they used to write down the historical events. There is not any proofs that something happened between them and someone called Moses. Okay. But we know as European men, uh, the what they call them, the archaeologists, sure, sure. there was a gap in the history. No one really knows about it in Egypt that there was people ruling Egypt. Okay. Okay. So, but however, we yeah, can, as a Muslim, go back to someone called Tabari. Tabari was one of the earliest historian in Islam. Yeah. He was around 1,000 years ago. He mentioned that... Pyramids, on the pyramids, yeah. on the face side of one of the pyramids, yeah. is a, a formula for a turbocharger that's way advanced to any system we've ever got now. Yeah. So where did that come from and how do you age that? It's a thousand years is nothing when you think how many times, you know, the solar system, the size we are, yeah. a thousand years is nothing yeah. because it wasn't registered, written, documented. Yeah. Yeah? But, so today you can Google it on the side of the great pyramids that comes before many religions were written. Yeah? I don't it know says, about that. It says it's a turbocharger. Yeah, I know. I've heard about this. I've heard about this. Even, I, I, even I heard about the charger and Sumerians. That they found like a battery. Uh, uh, Sumerians. Yeah, battery. But my point, sorry, it's kind of, my point here is that uh, somebody mentioned that those who ruled after, uh, I mean, ruled over Moses were called the Malachites. The Amalekites. And the Malachites, we know that they were Arabs, from the ancient Arabs, who came from the Arab Peninsula. They were so, the 12 tribes of Israel. No, not the Malachites, no. Yeah, no. The no, no, the Malachites were not. The Malachites, no. Because in the Bible, you mentioned that the, the Israelites were only to kill the Malachites. They did fight, but they were cousins, they were still part of the 12 uh, tribes. No, uh, cousins, yeah, the Jewish, uh, the Israelites and the Ishmaelites are cousins. You know, yeah. we're all related. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, the human know. race, we're all one. Without any doubt, we go back to Adam. Yeah, that's it. We go back to Adam. Adam, 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 not Adam and Steve. Yeah, Adam and Eve, yeah. But what's wrong with Adam and Steve? No. What's wrong with Adam and Steve? What's wrong? Well, if it was Adam and Steve, we would have never had a human race. We have carry you another time. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate well, that. I think we've, we've built good foundations. Yeah, no problem, inshallah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take care, yeah, yeah. man. Please be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah.